It's a disruptive innovation. There have been a number of technologies with the internet which have shown people that technology can change uh, the balance of power between the individual and governments. Bitcoin. For the first time in digital real, we have an asset which is scarce. It can be transferred, but not duplicated. It can be spent once, not twice. The end goal for Bitcoin has got to be um, world reserve currency. A world reserve currency that's managed by the people, for the people, um, not by any government um, that will be used everywhere in the world, but not necessarily by everyone all of the time. Uh, it will provide a global standard of value. A dynamic network, described by code, enforced by people. It, it's not code that's changing the network, it's people changing the network. Okay? And Bitcoin has a huge stable of good developers that are working on it constantly. Resilient because of its economic and social incentives. What is new in Bitcoin is the social incentives, the way the whole system pays for proof of work, and also the way Bitcoin resists change by external actors. So I think, if anything, the hard fork attempts that we are seeing, which keep failing over and over and over again, they go show that the governance of Bitcoin works and that the governance is resistant to small groups of people trying to change Bitcoin. A new frontier for economic value with blockchain allowing for smart contracts. You and I are doing some kind of smart contract, right? Um, yeah, you and I would need to know all the details of it. But if we need to then go to the blockchain to uh, um, you know, have it verified and uh, this is kind of the, the, you know, the blockchain is the final authority on whether a transaction is valid or not, uh, being able to provide a short proof is a great feature. And I think that this is something that uh, is uh, it allows for much greater scalability and it makes it so that the rest of the network doesn't have to verify most of the stuff that happens. With this version number that is in the seed, uh, it's possible for software to fully know where their bitcoins are, in which derivations they are. Digital gold that evolves and scales up, resisting rust and remaining shiny. So there have been some interesting improvements done in the protocol itself and the future, in the future versions uh, that will be coming in the, that will be arriving in the coming years. Even uh, scalability solutions like Lightning uh, will help on the fungibility as well. A Lightning network for value transaction. I think that you know in the future, I think developers will find it a little bit easier to kind of build directly on top of Lightning rather than Bitcoin proper because uh, you know Bitcoin proper. Um, you can get kind of complex with like transactions, the signing, the inputs and everything like that. While with Lightning, it's kind of like a simpler API as in, you know, you open a channel and they have that concept of kind of like a channel being like a, like a tube of money that you can like kind of like swish around and then you can basically just pay via that channel. Well, Bitcoin is what happens when you put money uh, on the internet and you can transmit it the same way you can transmit an email. To discover more, to understand better, The Digital Rush.